What's good YouTube, this is Mark and before we go right into today's video, I am going to take a little bit of time to say that I am so much sorry for not uploading the video within the past two weeks. I've been working on the post-production which we did way back in two weeks and I am the one editing so I have to dedicate most of my time into creating that video because it's a concept which we are about to work on so we just have to structure out everything in a way which we are going to understand and be able to break down the process of acting well enough about enough of that at the ending of this video there are some things i'm really going to be telling you guys which i think it's really going to be of so much help to you guys so but for now we are not going to talk about that so let's just skip that one time so today's video is going to be of how you can improve your art i know most people have been, work, have been working on how to improve their art for so long and they don't just really know how to go about it so today i'm going to give you guys five tips which you can use to improve your art five tips now almost every artist go through this process in case you've not been going through this process so once you get these five tips i hope when you put this into practice it is really going to help you guys to improve your art Work. So the number one tips we are going to be taking on is go draw something. Go draw something. Does that even sound any of use to you? Well, might sound awful, but somehow it, it's really, really good. Now you must say go draw something and the first thing you're really going to ask yourself is what am I really going to draw? Well, the statement is go draw something. Just find anything that is really going to be useful for you to draw. Maybe a picture, an object, or just anything, anything at all that is really going to help you to draw. That you will be able to draw and make sure you try to grab something from it when you draw. Now, when you do this the first day, do it the second day, do this the third day, and you do this for almost a week, you'll find yourself attracted to drawing more and more any item you see any object any figure you see you just feel like you want to draw these stuff then from there you keep practicing day by day and you get to know how you improve with all these drawing maybe today you draw a keyboard tomorrow you draw something else and another day you go back and join those keep enjoying that keyboard you drew on the first day you get to understand that there is something you add on the third day than what you did on the first day so go draw something it's one of the tips i'll be giving you guys today which is really going to help you on how to improve your artwork well the number two it's going to be look at drawings i know a lot of you really don't do this you just focus on getting what you want now come to think of it if you look at drawings of other artists you get to learn a lot like for me i learned so much when I look at drawings of other artists, like sometimes I just spend most most of my time going on art station, Instagram, and most of all these art sites like Daviana too as well. I go on all these sites, spend most of my time checking out other artists' work. When I mean checking out other artists' work, I don't mean checking out works which are not related to mine. Maybe you know I work on portraits and I will go on checking landscapes and so on. No, check out on portrait artists too. Look how they draw their lines, look how they paint, look the way they, the kind of feel they give to their artwork and so on. Definitely you will pick one or two out of that. When you do this the first day, when you do this the second day, you get to learn one or two. So if you are not looking on other, looking at other artists art, I bet you, you have to start doing this because it's really going to help you. And secondly, you might want to go out and go to places like gallery or art studio, anywhere you think you can find inspiration. That is why they said inspiration. And most of it, if you really want to be sure of a particular place to get inspiration, that is if you're the type that I don't like going out and so on, I will bet you have to take on Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of inspiration for you just go there type in on any inspiration you need maybe art portraits illustration landscape ads or pencil sketch or whatever you want to check on you are really going to find it there on skillshare so i really hope this second tip helped you guys so the third tip we are going to be taking today is draw from drawings to me this sounds awful i know really really awful but seriously it is really going to help you a lot now at times in your stages of drawing it's really going to be hard for you to break down the shapes you see maybe when you are drawing a portrait or practically drawing from reference it's really going to be hard for you to break down those shapes 
of the face or whatever shape it is you are drawing but if you take on other artists drawings and you try to draw from them you will be able to find the line so much easy for you to draw because at this point they simplify everything for you in a way that you can just see and say okay this is a line i can just take this line and draw it this way this is how the person put the line that making use of a real reference like i have this issue i'm not going to lie i have this issue like looking at reference and drawing from the reference it's really a bit stressful for me at that point in my art journey i get to understand that I can't just figure out the edges even though i can see those edges and i can look at the lines from the reference but i don't just i don't just know how to make all those lines but it's really difficult for me just to break down those lines but when i take on other drawings which people have done i can just quickly draw that which and it's really going to look exactly like what they have done so far so Check, check, check on drawing, check on so many drawings, put on many references from drawings from so many artists, different kind of artists, you have so many artists which you can use of, but one thing you have to be sure of, when you do those drawings, don't post them, except you have the proper permission to post them, and if you wish to post them, make sure to contact the artist and try to see if he or she is going to give you the permission to post the art work. So always draw from other drawings because it's really going to help you simplify your shape in a way that you will be able to understand how to break down the real shapes out of your original reference because when you look at drawings you will be able to break down the shape of a reference or if you want this this is really going to be helpful to you now if you can get a reference and the drawing it's really going to be helpful so when you look at the drawing you look at the reference so as you draw from the drawing you also look at the reference to see how the person has tried to break down all these lines from the reference and put them into drawing so the fourth tip which we are going to be taking today is draw from photograph which i almost covered in the third tip draw from the photograph like when you get a picture maybe the one you take yourself or the one you get from any of other stock website and there are so many stock websites which you can get free photographs from that you can draw now when you draw from photographs it will be really easy for you like very very easy for you to draw like when you look at the photograph and you keep drawing look at the photograph and you draw you look at the photograph to draw it will be really easy for you to simplify everything you see on that photograph now most people will tell you don't draw with reference fuck that it's not really about not drawing with reference art does not depend on imagination or any other thing else now most of the people who draw out of imagination the ones draw from a reference i'm very certain about that the ones draw from a reference and even if they don't draw from reference they look at reference to get some things and like they look at reference to get some inspiration and to draw so you an upcoming artist and you say you want to go ahead and start drawing from imagination how is that even possible when you don't really know where to start from so start using photographs if possible go out there take something take the still life drawing or get one of your friends maybe your female friend your male friend who is the photo addicted or the social media type you take that photo and get back into your house now we have so many softwares which we can use to edit photos which can really bring out what we want them what we want to see on them or how we really want them to be so at the there make use of photoshop you have so many other softwares that is if you can't make use of photoshop you have so many other softwares which you can use to edit this photo to simplify them into several ways which you can be able to draw them so one final advice for you guys is always draw from photos it is really going to help you so much to get the basic shape and the real proportion of the face whenever you are trying to draw now if you're trying to draw from imagination you can also get a photo now without photo the photo is really going to guide you through when drawing from imagination i know lots of assets who draw from imagination but they always have a reference board or a mood board you can always call that a reference board or a mood board depending on whichever you want to call it they always have a mood board or a reference board when at any point in time maybe when they get stuck in one thing or the other after when drawing from imagination they head back to that mood board and they pick out something from there again and they get along and start working so you beginner you just have to make use of a reference photo drop a photograph that is just what i'm going to tell you so this brings us to the last tips which i'm really going to be giving you guys is to keep a sketch book which is the fifth tip now i'm giving you guys this 
and I say keep a sketchbook, have I really asked myself if I did have a sketchbook? <laughs> well, at the time in my life, I really don't have a sketchbook and I have a sketchbook at some stages. Then the sketchbook is always in my bag, the pencil, like I always have over several pencils in my bag whenever I'm going out and my sketchbook is always inside of the sketch pad anyone which you're going to call it it's always available in my bag so when i get to some certain place or even when i get to my workplace at that particular moment if i'm free i'm not doing anything i'm going to bring out my sketch pad from my bag and my pencil and i'm just going to look at anything around and i'm going to draw and when i did this at that process in time it's really easy for me to just get the basic shape within a period of time so keeping a sketchbook you might find it that it's a little bit heavy or so on but there are so many sketchbook out there which are so light you can check online to get some or you can go into your local stores and see if you can get anyone that is really going to be helpful to you and if you say the pencil it's really going to give you a stress sharpening your pencil and so on we have so many pencil out there we like the mines pencils and so on the mechanical pencils which you really don't need to sharpen you just have to get a refiller and you just have to switch the refiller or when it's exhausted and it's really going to be easy you don't need to stress yourself these days to get what you want it just depends on what you want and how you want to approach it so always keep a sketchbook because art is kind of like i'm going to say art is a drug when you get to some certain area you look at some things and you say okay i should have been drawing something like this but when you feel like drawing but you don't have a sketchbook with you or a sketch pad you will be so frustrated and you just walk out of that place giving yourself nothing and taking nothing away from that place but when you have your sketch pad or your sketchbook in your bag when you see something which you like and you wish to draw you just quickly grab a backpack bring out your sketch pad and your pencil and you quickly draw something even if it's not really as accurate as it is you can do that some other time but when you do that i'm very very sure or not very very sure when you do that some other time you will definitely see that what you did the first time it's really different from what you did the second time you are really really going to improve so i hope these six tips really help you guys of these five tips really help you guys on how to improve your artwork now i'm really going to tell you guys i'll be making use of all these for some time and it's really really helping me so much and that's why i decided to share this with you guys and if you do i would really appreciate it if you leave a comment in the comment box below so i said i have something to tell you guys at the ending of this video so this is it and now most people ask me so many questions about how long does it take me to create an artwork? Sometimes it takes me three days and so on. But if I really want to create a satisfied art, which I really don't want to rush and so on, I spend one week on them. That's why most times it's pretty difficult for me to upload a full-time art video. And the next question I get was that if I can always make a video aside of just normal painting in Photoshop, which can also help in kind of like the art industries and so on then i come to think of it i love photography a lot so what i'm really going to be doing i am going to be getting some stock photos online and somehow if i'm free i get to snap some myself and try to edit them make them look so much like art but there is nothing like the smudge painting you know so on no this is going to be way more beyond that it's going to be practically based on the photography but it's really going to look so more artistic about that well i'm really thinking about that but if i am really going to apprehend that into my channel it's going to be once a week yeah once a week probably the tuesday and we are going to call that the photography tuesday or the creative tuesday any one out of these two but when i finally make up my mind you guys are just going to see a new video called the photography tuesday or the creative tuesday blah 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 i did this and so on now that is really going to be the update and i really wish to give you guys most of the things i know based on photoshop you know when we deal on this art for so long you will be so much boring and you wouldn't be able to expand your knowledge right on photoshop so i really decided to make my channel a little bit wider for you guys to learn so much about the art industry and also learn so much about photoshop because i know a lot about the arts and photoshop of the thing 
my knowledge on photoshop is more wider than the drawing and painting inside of photoshop so i really want to share this with you guys because keeping the knowledge is of no use you're not going to use it for anything other than making money for yourself that's just it but when you share it you are going to be happy seeing people making use of what you know to earn something for themselves and making a living out of it so that brings us to the end of this video and i hope these little tips or these five tips i'll be giving you guys on how to improve your ads works really help you guys and if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips and tricks i am going to be posting every week so till then see you guys in my next video and make sure that you stay creative